Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is hopefully the start of what I think will be a series for Beginners in Fusion 360. Now, you might be able to tell that I've uh, I've got a, a virtual machine. Um, you might not. It's probably why it looks so uh, kind of empty. Uh, yeah, I'm using VMware because I already have Fusion 360 and I don't really want to uh, uninstall it to show it how to install it. So. I just installed uh, Windows 10 into a virtual machine. Um, I don't actually have Windows 10 on my um, main computer uh, or host machine. Um, so this is uh, quite ironic really. But anyway, let's uh, get into this. So what you wanna do to... So what you wanna do to install Fusion 360 is come to Google and just, as you can imagine, type Fusion 360. Can you believe that? So uh, let's just go to, um, yeah, let's go to this one. Okay, so if you're a student or you're a hobbyist, which you probably are, uh, it's free. So of course it's free, but it's stripped down, but it's only things that we don't really gonna use. Come on, we're not, we don't have a turning machine at home. Anyway, uh, you're probably gonna install it to 3D print, I'm sure, that's what I did. Anyway, let's click get started. Um, and what we need to do is fill out some information. So uh, I'm just going to fill this out. I'm just I'm not going to put my actual details, obviously. Uh, um, because I don't think I need to. I do not want to participate in that. Uh, ng uh, twelve eighty y Let's just put some number that is not mine, so don't bother trying to ring it. Uh, this is mine because I'm pretty sure I will need to have access to an email to be able to, uh, you know, work with it. So uh, let's agree to that. Um, industry news, I don't care about industry. Uh, let's go next, sign in. So now we can actually download it. Uh, that was supposed to start, but I don't know what's going on. So let's go to downloads. Oh, something's happening. I need to be more patient. So um, I guess we just got to wait for this to get to 100%. One eternity later. So you can see now, finally, after all that, uh, oh, it, it starts and by itself. That's pretty good. Oh my God, this takes a while. So yeah, just like I'd mentioned before, something about my time is incorrect. Um, this should not happen for you because you won't be using a virtual machine. So um, I'm just gonna try and figure this out. Uh, we, date and time. There we go. That's about right, let's try again. So now what you need to do is just log in with the email that you use to create your uh, Autodesk account. So I'm just gonna type mine. Of course, I have it um, covered because I don't particularly want people messaging me in this way. Now we're gonna type the password you used to make the account. And you need to get a verification email. So let's just click that. So now if we go to our email address, we can um, essentially just accept that. So we're gonna to go to the Autodesk email. We're gonna click verify email, click done. So now we should be able to go back to Fusion. Uh, Let's continue here. Ooh, not responding, that's good. That's a good sign. It's literally got nothing on the entire virtual machine except Fusion, and it's already uh, having some loading issues. I think mountains move quicker than this, to be fair. Okay, let's just click next here. Create a team. Let's just call it um, tutorial team. 
Let's create. Go to team. Come on. This seems to be excruciatingly slow, but um, eventually we can actually see the user interface of Fusion. Oh, not responding again. That's working very well. Okay, I can see the grid. Um, of course, there's an update, so that's why we got a notification. If we make this full screen, um, and if it actually loads, uh, we can see what's going on. Your Fusion personal offerings entitles you to 10 editable documents and unlimited read-only documents. If you are using Fusion 360, your Fusion 360 documents are now only read-only. Essentially, a few months back, or probably about a year now, Fusion 360, well, Autodesk really, I suppose, uh, decided that uh, the non-commercial license of Fusion 360 will prevent you from making as many documents as you want, which is um, a bit of a one of those. So um, you can really only edit 10 documents at once. Uh, if you want to edit a different one, you're going to have to um, change the setting from read-only or from editable to read-only, vice versa. So yeah, this... Um, this is a, a bit of annoying, but uh, can't really do much about it unless you pay for the full version. Now that is installed, I'm going to go uh, back to. Uh, we're getting. I'm getting this message here because I'm using the virtual machine. I'm pretty sure. So to overcome all the slowness and everything, I will go back to Fusion 360 in my host computer, despite being on Windows 7. And I know what people are going to say. Oh, it's not safe. It's not safe. Uh, yes, I kind of do realize that. It's just I, I can't update it right now. Um, so uh, I have, will have to use uh, Fusion 360 with Windows 7 despite that, um, which it does have some performance issues, um, which I have had to deal with in the past. But I normally just uh, have to do things twice to You'll see it make more sense when you see it. But yeah, uh, in the next tutorial, I should be uh, explaining the general user interface. So uh, some of these icons at the top, for example, and the settings, the units, um, the parametric history timeline. Uh, yeah, so uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.